Hi everyone. So just a quick tip on how to post images. Now you, a lot of people will, will drag and drop here, right? They will post something. Let me put, um, let me, let me put a JPEG in there, right? And post it. Now what's going to happen is that's going to post as an image, uh, as a little icon and people are going to have to click on it to see it. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, let me cancel that. Yes. I find the best way to um, post images for these discussions so that people don't have to click on an icon and open it up, they don't have to download it, is to use this icon. See this icon here? Now, watch what happens. It inserts it and I can write, I can write a response. Really bad at typing today. A response here. You see how now when people look at your post, they can immediately see the image instead of having to go down here and click some generic image and then open it up somewhere else. This is what I would recommend. Now, in another little tip tutorial I'll send out, I'll show you how to put images into a PDF. When we get into doing these end of week assignments that are uh, you know, maybe a couple of images and there's a lot and there's not a lot of writing, but there's some writing involved in terms of your explanation. Sometimes you may want to use a PDF so that again, the point is instead of having to click on a PDF and open it up or click on something, um, or rather instead of having to read a written response and then look at a couple of images, you know, stacked or image icons, there are ways where we can just open up a PDF and see the images and the written component. But that's a future tip post. But for now, again, what I would do is you go here, click on image, and you can insert as many images as you want and they're right there for people to see. All right, so let me know if you have any questions on that.